with her eyes, with her smile, with her belt, with her hands, with her money. I am the thesis of her prayers. Her nieces and her nephews are just pieces of the layers. Only one she loves as much as me is Jesus Christ and Taylor. I got a future song. Hi, my loves. So as you can see from the title of this video, I am doing a 200 subscriber Q&A. I feel like literally just the other week, I was doing my 100 subscriber giveaway and getting that all squared away and now here we are and I'm doing my 200 subscriber giveaway. I literally, I cannot believe it. I've been on um, YouTube now making videos I think for about three-ish months and I already have 200 subscribers. To me, that is a lot. I mean... I, I honestly I just can't believe it and I want to thank you all from the bottom of my heart and I know I've thanked you before in other uh, videos but I just want to say it again because I will forever be grateful for you clicking on my video and watching my video I will forever be grateful for that no matter how many subscribers I get so thank you thank you thank you um, so yeah I'm gonna do a 200 subscriber Q&A I only picked six questions because I didn't want this video to be too long uh, but I do plan on doing another Q&A when I hit 500 subscribers. That number is weird. <laughs> but yeah, when I hit 500 subscribers, I plan to do another Q&A, um, probably with a few more questions as well. But for this one, I thought I'd keep it short and just do six. Um, so let's get to it. Um, the first question is from Theo Craze. And I'm sorry, girl, if I said that wrong, but I'm going to link everyone's um, YouTube channels or social media handles uh, down below in the description box so you can check everybody out that I mentioned. Um, so her question to me uh, was, and I'm looking over here because I have the questions written down right here. Why am I on YouTube? <laughs> Pretty much, why am I, am I on YouTube? Um... And honestly, I made my first video because I was sad, <laughs> um, as strange as that sounds, because I was sad and feeling extremely homesick one night, um, and I was just watching YouTube videos, and my phone was right there beside me, and I decided to pick up my phone and record myself and release my feelings. Um, and for whatever reason, I decided to just go ahead and upload it onto YouTube. I literally did everything from my phone. I didn't transfer it to my laptop or anything. I just uploaded it from my phone to YouTube. Um, I didn't even tell anyone that I did that. It was my husband that told a couple family members and friends that I had a video up there. And they clicked on it, they watched it, um, and it just went from there. I just started uploading my thoughts and my feelings, and uh, my family and friends were watching. And the more I uploaded, is the more I was feeling like, I like this. You know, is this is something that I can release my feelings and be me and, and speak to people, and hopefully people speak to me. Um, so yeah, that is why I'm on YouTube, because of one sad, lonely, homesick night. <laughs> Next question is from Shayna. Hey girl, so good to see you uh, when we were in Florida together for Christmas. I hope you're doing okay. Um, and Shayna asks, uh, are there any YouTubers that inspired me to start my channel? You all know who I'm going to say already. I probably mention her in every single video or she or I play some of her music in every single video, you know who I'm going to mention, and that is my bae, my girl, the number one boss, I'm wearing her lipstick, Miss Lily Saini Singh. She's just an inspiration to me. I'm not gonna go into it too much because you already know how I feel about her, but she's an inspiration. She's a kind, loving, caring human being, um, and she inspires me to hustle harder and to kill people with kindness <laughs> um, and not in a fake you know non-genuine way I am a pretty unicorn person um, but she just reminds me even when you're hustling hard still be nice and still be kind to people um, because that's free you know why not why not do that so yeah 
that is one of my YouTube inspirations, Miss Lily Singh. Um, I will link her channel below <laughs> as well so you can check her out if you don't know who I'm talking about. So Rebecca asked me, hey Rebecca, love your channel. You know I love your little, uh, little girls, they're so adorable. Um, so Rebecca asked me, what do I do to relax? And since I started YouTube, I literally feel like I have two full-time jobs. I work a, you know, a nine-to-five job, 40 hour, you know, 40 hours a week job. But since I started YouTube, this has become my second job for real. Um, so I do need the, those moments to relax. And what I normally do to relax is watch YouTube, obviously. Um, I like to watch movies. Um, I like to read articles. I can be, you know, pretty nerdy. Um, but, well, no, you know, not nerdy, but I just like to read, you know, I like to read. I like to keep up on what's going on in the world, whether it's entertainment, whether it's political, whether it's science. I just like to keep up with what's going on in the world. So I like to read. That relaxes me. Um, and then also, if it's raining, this is one thing that I love to do and it relaxes me so much. If it's raining, I will turn off all the lights. I'll just have on maybe like one lamp shut all the curtains and I'll snuggle up on the couch with a blanket and you know watch a movie or watch some YouTube or something that to me is the most relaxing thing ever I love the sound of rain it just is so calming to me so yeah that is what I do um, to try and relax sometimes and another thing I actually do actually, um, actually how, am I, how many times am I gonna say actually um, I like to listen to music um, and just dance um, I, I love hip-hop, R&B, soul, um, I pretty much like any type of music as long as it's got a good beat. Not too much into country, sorry if that offends anyone, but um, yeah, I like to just let's put some music on and just dance by myself. It makes me happy, which in turn makes me calm, so yeah. Will asked me what is one of my favorite videos um, that I filmed and edit. What is one of my favorite videos that I filmed and edited? Um, so one of my favorite videos that I've put up so far, which I actually have two. Um, the first one is my a Jamaican turn up uh, video. That one, I had so much fun at that party, first of all. It was a proper Jamaican turn up, just like the vlog is titled. Um, and I did shoot a little bit of the party, like some of the music that was going on. It was just a fun time and I drank probably a little bit too much, but uh, me and my husband just had a really good time and I hadn't been to like a good, you know, Jamaican party like that in such a long time. And even when I was editing the um, video, I was dancing and just, you know, kind of remembering the moment and it was really fun. It, it was a fun time. And then my second video that I really um, had fun filming and editing was my tipsy times with the hubby. Oh my gosh, I laughed my ass off when I was editing that video. It was just so funny to me, the way that my husband was cheating, when he said that he put extra liquor in my cup, like, I don't know, that one was just, it was fun to film and it was fun, fun to edit. Um, so yeah, those are my two favorite videos on my channel right now. Well, they're all my favorite, obviously, but those two um, are probably the, the two that are fa you know, favorite at this moment. So, Denisha asked me um, to give some tips on how I'm always so positive. Um, and hey, Denisha, by the way, I love you, love your channel, and you are a very positive person too. I'm drawn to positive people, people that have good vibes and good energy and kind people, and you are definitely that. Um, and so thank you very much to, for subscribing to my channel as well. Um, so some of the things that I do to stay positive, um, two things, um, but I do a few things, but two things in general is that I always try and remind myself that whatever I'm going through, there's somebody in the world that's going through something much worse than me, you know. And I'm going to probably broach on this a bit more in another video that I'm doing of, you know, things I'm grateful for in 2016. 
but um, you know, I have a roof over my head, I have a car that I can drive, I have a job that pays my bills. You know, those are the three things that so many people in the world would love to have, and I have those things. So I just try and remind myself that, you know, Sheena, what you're going through, you know, it feels pretty bad right now, but there's somebody out there that's going through something ten times worse than you. So, you know, buck up and, and do whatever you need to do to fix the problem or move past the problem. Um, so that's one thing that I do. Another thing that I remind myself of is something that my mom, um, hi mom, I love you if you're watching, um, something that my mom always says is that nothing lasts forever, which I know sounds a little bit like, oh, you know, like kind of sad, but if you think about it, nothing really lasts forever, whether it's a happy feeling or a bad feeling. You know it's not gonna last forever so what I try to do is when I'm having a happy feeling I try and stretch that happy feeling for as long as I can because I know the bad feelings are gonna come it's you know it's life It's I'm very realistic it's life bad things are gonna happen but when those bad things happen I go back to my first tip and I try and remember somebody out there is going through something worse than me and that normally bucks me up um, and then, you know, I just think about what my mom says, nothing lasts forever. This bad thing I'm going through is going to be over soon and I'm going to be happy again. So those are two things that I try and remind myself of. Um, and those are things that help me to remain positive. So the last question is from Aisha. Hi, Aisha Boo, my Twitter sister. I love you so much. Um, so Aisha asked me, what's my favorite movie? I have two favorite movies. Um, actually, I have more than two, but the two that you know are really, I really love. Number one is Boys in the Hood. That movie, I can recite every single line from that movie. Okay, that movie is some of the one of some of the best written work to me, ever. I love that movie so much. Um, and then my second uh, favorite movie is The Color Purple. No matter how many times I watch The Color Purple, I will cry. Boo-hoo crying like I'm a baby. That movie from start to finish is so emotional. It's got so much meaning, so many messages in that movie. It's definitely one of my favorite movies ever. Yeah, though that is my 200 subscriber Q&A. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Again, thank you, thank you, thank you. I would not be here sitting in front of this camera if it wasn't for you guys clicking on my video and watching. And I cannot thank you enough for that. I love you and I will see you in my next video. Bye!